So Craig and I got challenged by a mysterious text message to take our thousand dollar motorcycles to this location, which we thought would be pretty easy to do. But it turns out it's in the middle of a quarry. So we have to figure out a way to get these motorcycles to the center of the quarry right here, where hopefully it will be explained to us what we're doing there. Basically, we have to turn these cheapest motorcycles into watercrafts, but not like this, the opposite of this. And because there's two men and two motors involved, this just became a challenge. Who can build the best motorcycle and who can get to the center of the quarry first? Hopefully we can do this without sinking our bikes to the bottom of this 120 foot deep quarry. All right, so we have a very small window of time, somehow basically turning these things into boats. Now here is my big diabolical plan. To get that thing to float on the water, I think I'm gonna build some type of raft-ish, some type of wooden device, and on each side, use like paddle boards maybe. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use the rear tire to actually propel this vessel forward. Now what Craig's probably gonna do, Craig is gonna over engineer this, probably do an engine swap, probably make something a two stroke. It's gonna be way too heavy. It's definitely gonna sink. There's no way it's gonna float. And uh, he's gonna wish he made something a little simpler. All right, so I'm super excited about this. We get to build motorcycles. And if I know Sean, he probably thinks I'm gonna over-engineer this thing. It's gonna weigh a ton. I'm gonna have, he'll probably say I have a two-stroke on it somewhere, which I don't know, I might. Because the truth is, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I think I'm gonna build some sort of barge-style boat. Sometimes for inspiration, I just kind of look back at our past projects and see if I can steal any parts or steal some ideas and try to figure out how to make things work. Harbor Davidson, wheel chocks, race motor, I think we're all right there. Yo, what do we got here? Yo, what if we can get the bike? So basically, Craig's stupid idea is to build some type of dumb barge guaranteed to sink because he's using totes to keep it afloat. And then to power it, he will be configuring some type of 1980s paddle steamboat thing because we know how great they were. But the good news is Craig is great at swimming. So this will be fun to watch. All right, so we got the flotational part of this watercraft device. I was able to find, um, I don't know what they're even called, they're stand-up paddleboard. They're tandem stand-up paddleboards, and they're made for up to 500 pounds, which means I think the bike weighs at least 650 pounds. I weigh another 185 pounds, plus the wood. I don't think I'm even cutting it close. It's gonna be the most legit build I've ever done. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go to the hardware store, and let's go get the wood that we need to connect these things together, and somehow figure out a way to put a motor on top of it. There's no way Craig is as far as I am right now. This could be a paddle tire. It is a paddle tire. This is gonna work, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. Okay, so here's my thought. These are 27 gallon totes. So these are gonna displace 27 gallons of water. Makes sense. Watch this, two four by eight sheets of plywood. Let's for fun say we can get four and we can get eight. So we'll take 27 times eight. Wait, did I do that right? 27. So while Craig goes on and on with this very boring, very bogus formula, that's not gonna help him out at all. Here's a video that someone sent me of them wrecking their go-kart, followed by some videos of very cute kittens. So if I divide 3,456 pounds by three, 1,152 pounds. So in theory, my barge should be able to float 1,152 pounds with a good safety margin. Uh, and I also didn't use the true weight of water. The true weight of water is eight point yada, yada, yada. I just used eight. So now my bike weighs 400 pounds. So that gives me 752 pounds. I weigh something less than that. So I have about 500 pounds I can play with. Craig, how are you gonna steer? Yeah, one thing at a time, Dan. Oh my gosh. Wait, you're saying you have 500 pounds left over? Yeah. That's definitely less than 500 pounds. It is. Wow. I'll have to put a, uh, a sprocket on this side, not a big deal. I'll put a sprocket on this side and a wheel and a tire. And we're motorboating, buddy. Craig, how are we gonna steer? We're gonna let Jesus take the wheel. Sean is gonna have this like grand big plan. So my plan is really awesome and almost uh, what I would call super genius. 
Uh, it's it's called a Cataram, Cataraham, I don't know. Uh, it's got two skis like this. Well, you know what, let me scratch this. I, I, I'm not a good drawler. Let me just show you a picture of exactly what I'm trying to do. Yup, just like that. And it is gonna be epic and awesome. And then he's gonna get distracted or bored of it. And it's just gonna veer off. And I don't think he's gonna do the math. Maybe I'm wrong. One down, one more to go. Oh, shoot. Is that a pump? <laughs> it, it came, this is, okay, fine, this is why you read the instructions. It came with a pump. It came with an electric pump, dang it. So even though it took me seven hours to blow up two paddle boards and lay two by threes on top of them, I still was pretty sure that I was ahead of Craig, but I wanted to call and just see how, see how far ahead of him I actually How's was. How's your project going? Really good. Really? Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna be finished here probably Pretty shortly. I'm about to wrap it up. I'm putting on the I'm putting on like the polish and the finish and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to mount their microwave right now. Oh microwave is pretty important. Okay. And then okay. Uh, we are we just mounted the uh, 47 inch TV. So yeah, it's, it's getting pretty legit. Yeah, I just uh, I ordered pistons for my uh, outboard motor. Nice. Have them this afternoon. Oh, you're using fossil fuels? Yeah. Oh, so you're going like retro? And, yep, I'm using wind power as well. Oh. I got a lot going on. Cool, cool, cool. Good to hear it. All right. All right, Craig. Sounds good. See ya. All right. All right, so here's my plan. It's something like this. I got these guys. They're spaced out. Maybe I'll even space them out even more and make them even wider. Maybe as wide as the boards are to give me that extra stability. And then I'll build a platform in the middle right here where I can roll the bike up, strap the bike down, and then find that good center spot where it's, you know, it's, it's level. And then I got myself a boat. It's looking good. No, there's no way Craig's is looking this good. All right, guys, my plan is coming together nicely. I'm really liking this. There are two sheets of plywood. So we have that set. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is take this apart. All right, so we're halfway, more than halfway through the first day here. I have a really good solid plan, so I'm gonna work at getting this all set up and, and laying it all out. Tell me this does not look like an upside down boat. It's, uh, it is an upside down boat. That's right, it is. Oh, well, I have no idea what Sean's done, but this thing is not going down. Not going down. But Sean's is. I imagine it's either gonna go down or fall apart. All right, so we got a cool little surprise for you guys. One of the motorcycles, one of the KPMs that we gave away on the last live, the guy said he doesn't need it and he is happy to give it away. He wants us to give it away to one of the subscribers. He's like, I want this to give it away to someone who, who gives no money, who doesn't jump in on the Kickstarter, they don't pay nothing, just a free bike. And I said, awesome, let's do it. So we're going live again on this date right here this i think it's a monday and we're going to give away that bike to a subscriber all you got to do is be a subscriber it's going to be a blast so i want you guys to be there but i need to run back to the store and grab some more plywood we're about to wrap this thing up we're not even close but you gotta be optimistic now listen i'm no boat doctor i'm not even sure if i've been on a boat in the past 20 years but i know one thing this is gonna work yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to work. Nothing about this makes any sense. It's held together by tank straps. I, I don't even know how he's got those paddle boards. Like, th they're going to come apart. His propulsion system isn't even on yet. I don't know how he's going to run it. Craig, Craig has his figured out. It's powered by the motorcycle. He's just going to blow Sean's watercraft out of the water. Sean's not going to beat him. So I've got, I caught a glimpse of what Sean's doing. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> putting that much weight on the paddle boards. So Craig's basically building a barge. I think that's a pretty solid platform. His propulsion has potential. Between Sean and Craig, Sean has got the bigger potential of his bike ending up in the water. And all this boat building reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, Luke 6, 35. 
But love your enemies and do good, and lend expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he himself is kind to ungrateful and evil men. Hear that cracking? Oh, I, I hear it. That's how you know it's working? Oh, that's what it is. And after some duct tape and a few zip ties, something amazing happened. I was able to achieve absolute perfection. Guys, I need help! And this is my vessel. I call it the uh, flatulent duck. It's called a duck. It's not that good on the water. It's not that good on the land. It can kind of do both and flatulent because that's the best thing about it. This is my power source. First of all, this thing is total overkill. This thing's rated for a thousand pounds. This one's 500 pounds, that one's 500 pounds. I added it together, a thousand pounds. That bike probably doesn't weigh more than 750. The wood probably doesn't weigh more than 250, plus me. Actually, this is, it's overweight, but don't worry, it'll be fine. Um, this is the propulsion system. Two 730 CFMs, the, one of the most CFMs you can get out of an electric uh, leaf blower. This should get me to the center of that thing faster than it anything else this is the genius of it right this is how you steer it turn the wheel it blows in a different direction turn the wheel bam also i, I plan for everything backup power the the what are those things called those things just in case i get attacked got a water gun just in case i want to attack someone else i got some water balloons over there we got the sun fan if you're out in the water trying to beat craig you need protection from the sun men don't wear sunscreen remember that Let's say I start spraying a leak. I got a pump, start pumping this thing up. Also, let's say it starts getting dark outside. I got tiki torches that are gonna lead me the direction I need to go. There's no way Craig's gonna beat this thing. Hey Craig, your vehicle looks stupid. Not as stupid as your mom. Mine's rated for a thousand pounds. Yours is, there's no way it's gonna even float. You wanna bet? You're going down. All right, guys, this is the SS Never Sink Barge. I got 3,000 pounds of flotation that's at deck height. Uh, so I am completely, completely certain that we have more than enough flotation to make this happen. One of the best things we have going on here is our steering system. This here is a simple bell crank setup. It was uh, patented and designed for the aerospace industry by Nikola Tesla, uh, but we're gonna use it on this nautical application anyway. Very simple, it's attached to the bars. We got a broomstick back to some PVC pipe and a little rudder. It's not gonna take much to move this barge one way or another. For propulsion, we are gonna run the motorcycle. We're gonna put it in gear. We're gonna spin this bogey wheel. And the idea behind this bogey wheel is it gets us the correct rotation to this tire, which is spinning this tire. And fun fact, this is a paddle tire and rim off of a CR500, so I know it can handle the horsepower that this barge is gonna put out. We're about ready to set sail. We have an umbrella because I'm gonna be out there motorboating all day and I don't wanna get sunburned. I don't know what could go wrong. All right, Craig, three, two, one, go. So at this point, you might be thinking that we've got a pretty close race going on. But in reality, Craig never stood a chance. Ben, why can I only turn left? Craig, you need me to pull you in? I need to figure out my steering. I'll come over, help you out. Craig, for a boat that can handle 3,000 pounds, you look pretty uh, wonky over there. Craig, would this help? <laughs> Don't do it, Craig. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I think it's pretty obvious who won. Now I'm just gonna wait here and wait for Craig to meet me out here. Let me know if you need a tow, Craig. Better hold on tight, Craig. 
it's about to get real fast up in here. So I got a call about some idiot who got his motorcycle boat stuck in a, uh, in a quarry. We're gonna see if we can rescue him. Turbo! Take me places, Sean. So as I wrapped up my very first boater cycle recovery, me and Craig powered on over to the middle of the quarry where I once again got a very strange but expected text message. I just got a text message, Craig. It says, this quarry hides dark secrets. There's a motorcycle down there and we gotta get it. That'll be fun. That should be fun. We're on the streets, there's a bike down here. Now I know that you guys know of quarries and rivers and lakes of places that people dump motorcycles. Let us know where they're at because that sounds like a lot of fun. We're going live at this state right here and we got some motorcycles we're gonna give away. That's gonna be a lot of fun and at least one is giving, we're gonna give away just to a subscriber, nothing else else from the last giveaway. Also check out m1motogear.com, blowing things up on that Kickstarter. We'll see you guys next time, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna let you go Craig, you can, uh, you'll find a way I'm to get back. I'm right? just gonna paddle myself back in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to be out here spinning circles. <laughs> <laughs>